Hey everybody, I'm Sparky Parker. Today I'm going to show you a little bit about the BB King sound. Um, we're going to go over some licks and try to reveal some of his secrets on how he gets his signature tone. And um, if you want to find the tablature on these licks, you can go to my Patreon page, which is linked in the description. And um, first, let's get started. We're in the key of A. A little bit of prerequisite on this, um, you might want to learn the A minor pentatonic scale, especially on the first three positions. Um, and if you need help with that, I have an ebook and I'll link that in the description as well called Pentatonic Dominance. All right, so let's get started with the first lick. First thing we're going to do is hit the 11th fret on the G string, then the 10th fret on the B string. just those two notes but the thing that you have to add to this lick is you want to rake across the strings as they're muted for both of the notes so you're going to mute it with the palm right here by the bridge and I also always like to mute the string above what I'm playing with the tip of this finger or that finger just for some extra insurance in case I uh, don't fully mute it all right, that's lick one. Let's go to lick two. All right, so this one starts with a combination of the 11th fret on the G and the 10th fret on the B. So a lot of BB licks start that way. But the lick, what we're going to do is starting with that 10 or 11 and 10 together, and then we're going to bend the 12 just a slight bend and release and then we're going to pull off to the 10 then we're going to go to the 11 on the G string and back to the 10 on the B string so here's the lick all right and I should note that we're doing some vibrato here on the last note and the way that BB achieves his signature vibrato is he typically kind of opens his hand like this and with the first finger holds that string and what you're doing is you're twisting your hand at the wrist back and forth and he does it pretty fast. Now another little trick here is that you're sort of using the neck as a fulcrum and holding on to that string as you twist you're pulling that string down and back this takes a little bit of practice but but you can get it down pretty easily here all right that's lick two let's go to lick number three all right so we're still in that bb king box we're going to go 12th fret on the b string slight bend Go to the E string, hit 10 and 12. Back to the bend on the B string, 12th fret. Let it down and pull off to the 10. All right, and then we go 11th fret on the G, back to the 10th fret on the B. So we got. That's lick three, let's go to lick four. All right, so we're starting on the E string, 12th fret. We're gonna bend that up a whole step. Back down to the 12, then we're going to the 10. Then we're doing that same little 12 bend on the B string and release and pull off. Then we're going to the 11 on the G string and back to the 10 on the B string. So we have. Okay, that was lick four, let's go to lick five. 
So we're going to hit the root note way up high on the E string with a rake. So we're going to rake across the strings and a slide down. So all that is is I'm trying to mute these strings with this middle finger and I'm playing the 17th fret with my third finger. You can also mute with your palm if you want. All right, and then we slide down afterwards. So BB would do this, or he would do something like this. All right. All right, that was lick five. Let's go to lick six. All right, so this one requires a pretty heavy bend here on the E string. We're gonna bend the 12th fret all the way up from an E all the way to a G. That's a hole and a half a step. So we bend it, then we just play the 12, then we bend it again, play the 12, play the 10, and then we're gonna hit the 12, bend it up, release it, pull off to 10, and then 11 on the G string and back to 10 on the B. So I got All right, that was lick six. Let's go to lick seven. All right, so this one starts on the 10th fret of the E string. We're gonna bend it with our first finger, just a half a step, and then play the 10 without bending it. Then we're going to that signature lick that we've been ending our licks with so far, which is, that's the 12, bend, release and pull off, 11, 10. So together we got. Okay, that was lick seven. Let's go to lick eight. Okay, so we're starting this lick the same way as lick seven. We're doing a 10 bend and back. That's on the E string. Now we're going to the 13th fret of the B string. Bend that up a whole step, then we're going to play it two more times as it's bent up on that, that whole step bend. So we got, all right, after we do that, we're going to go to 12 on the B string, bend that up a whole step, and to the 10, same string. So I got, and we're going to play that 10 twice at the end. Oops. One more time. Okay, that was lick eight. Let's go to lick nine. All right. So I like to save this lick for um, the five chord on the turnaround. So that kind of builds up a nice little tension there and you can follow it up with whatever you want. Now, we're gonna start on the G string, play the 11th fret, 10th fret on the B string. We're gonna bend the 12th fret on the B string, release and then we'll pull off to the 10, and then back to 12. Okay, that was lick number nine. Let's go to lick number 10. All right, we're starting on the fifth fret of the B and the E. Tenth fret of the B. Eighth fret of the E. Tenth fret. Bend it up and release it. We're gonna do a pull off after we release the bend to the nine. We're gonna end on the tenth fret of the B string. Okay, so that's all the signature licks for today. Um, let's talk about the gear that BB used. So um, he's famous for using the Lucille Gibson ES-345, or he also used the Gibson ES-355, 
which uh, is a guitar with a stereo output and a very tone switch so you can get some kind of uh, fancy tones there um, I don't have access to that uh, most people don't have that particular guitar but if you have a guitar with humbuckers and even better if it's a semi hollow body guitar that's even better but two humbuckers I like to keep it in the middle position or the neck position and you want to have a clean tone on your amp with a little bit of reverb um, so BB actually used a solid state amplifier most of the time and um, he used a twin reverb tube amp as a backup so um, today I'm just playing through a Princeton reverb if you have any kind of Fender um, tube amp that should get the sound pretty good um, the other thing that you want to think about when you're trying to play and sound in the style of BB is that he used a lot of space between each guitar lick or each phrase so each phrase that he's playing he's leaving room to breathe so you want to have a lick have a space for a breath and then you can finish your idea so like <laughs> So you start an idea, you leave a little space for the tension, and then you finish the idea. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching the video. Please like and subscribe and uh, share with your friends. And uh, be sure to visit my Patreon page for the tablature of all these licks. And I'll see you in the next video.